So benefit number one is, is what I call passive appreciation, which is buy a house at one price. And over time, it goes up in value if you purchase in the right location and you can build wealth or grow your net worth for doing nothing. You could live in it, you could rent it out, but it doesn't matter. The house goes, the actual house goes up in value. Then there's aggressive appreciation or, or forced appreciation. And that's like if you put in a new kitchen, you add a garage or you pave the driveway, you can literally force and control the value of the investment. You can't do that in any other, like, unless you're going to go buy a million iPhones, like you can't dictate what Apple's stock price is going to be or Tesla's, right? But with a real estate investment, you can control that along with the area's appreciation. Cash flow with real estate, you can obtain a very large loan and virtually anyone can do this because there's so many different variations of loans from FHA to conventional to VA, vacation home loans. There's a ton of different loans that allow you to put different amounts of money down and that'll dictate the cost of your mortgage. But if you want cash flow every month, you simply charge greater than what that mortgage is for someone else to live in it. And that's how you can create cash flow through real estate very similar to dividends when you purchase stocks dividends pay out you know monthly quarterly annually on top of the other two benefits so that doesn't like that none of these are mutually exclusive the other big one is that it's a tangible asset so you can literally live in it have friends live in it you can vacation to it you can park your car there you can use it as storage right you can't do any of that any of the other investment vehicles that we've discussed which is just like a huge perk because while you're living in it you could still be collecting cash flow you could still be getting passive appreciation as well as aggressive appreciation. The other one that's really big is tax benefits. It's literally the most powerful tax shelter on the planet. I myself have saved over six figures in taxes just from owning real estate because you can literally write off so much. You can write off interest. You can depreciate the property over time, which is huge. And depending on what is at the real estate, like if it's commercial, depending on what that business is, also gives you more tax benefits, tax, dedu tax deductions, if you will. Last one is, uh, uh, power and control you literally have the air rights to that property which means if you buy a property somewhere and it's up and coming you can literally build on top you own the rights to that air you own the air rights from wherever your house is to the moon you also own all the mineral rights so if you strike oil or find gold or somebody else does right you own that property so they will have to compensate you in order to obtain what's under that property even if they need to run a pipe through just to get water to a new city that they're developing or oil or whatever like you have those rights so you have power and control and dominion over that land you can choose to do what you want to do with that land if you want to be a real estate investor you can tap into all of those benefits so you literally have control over the asset um, you can have aggressive and passive appreciation aka equity you can earn cash flow and then yeah you can live in it so like if i owned 100 acres i could live on it i could rent some of it out i could farm on it I could like literally do whatever. And then the last big piece, low barrier of entry, easy acquisition. So literally the government put in place that they're going to help banks help people own real estate. So they'll literally loan you 96 and a half percent of whatever the asset is. You can't go anywhere and get a 96 and a half percent loan on crypto, on NFT, on, on a stock. Like nobody's giving you a loan to invest. Mm -hmm. So it's the strongest vehicle to perform what we call positive arbitrage, which is like, okay, I'm going to go get a loan. The loan might cost me 10%. I have terrible credit. I'm paying a 10% interest rate. But if I can conduct any sort of business greater than 10% using that asset, that's positive.